nothing like a 4 p.m. coffee when you spend the whole entire day at the pool. I curled my hair differently. I didn't leave it on the barrel for that long. Sorry, I'm carrying my tripod and it's hitting stuff. Krishna and I went to the pool, spent, I think, like three hours in the sun. And then we came back up, showered, I did my hair and put on like the littlest bit of makeup. I've been so into iced coffee lately, it's crazy. I'm usually a hot coffee person, but I don't know what it is. I've just been really into iced coffees lately. So I think what I'm gonna do is, so the reason that Christian and I have been spending a majority of our weekends in the sun by the pool is because we're working on our tan. We're going on like a 10 or 11 day trip to California at the end of August. And I am so excited. I have been buying some clothes for the trip. We have bought like all of our plane tickets, our hotel stays, all of this stuff. I'm going to be vlogging the trip, which I'm so excited to vlog. I actually just got a second camera battery in the mail because of this trip mainly because it is hard to like start vlogging and then like your camera battery dies. So I bought a second battery and the packaging was so weird when I got it. I bought it off of Walmart. The packaging was kind of like a sticker was ripped off and it looked like it has Chinese on it. Put the camera battery that I just got in the camera today and so far so good. I mean you're recording fine and you're on so I guess that's what matters but these camera batteries are so expensive. They're like 50 bucks. I really wanted it for the trip to be able to just change my battery midday if my camera battery dies so I got that. I know I'm such a bad YouTuber. I've been doing YouTube for like two years and I just now got a second camera battery so but you're still on the same camera that I started YouTube with and I feel like not many people can say that the camera that I do have is a Canon G7X but they are very fragile like I had to buy a screwdriver for this camera and an extra screw I always have to tighten the little screws on the back because the viewfinder screws are so they just become loose over time so I'm constantly like tightening the screws on the back. If anyone has a Canon G7X, you know what I'm talking about. They can just, they feel like they fall apart so easily and they're so fragile, but I'm lucky that I still have the same camera because these cameras are not cheap, not cheap. I also bought, so, so our trip, um, so we're going to, I feel like I'm just like, chatting but um so we're going to san diego for a few days and we're going to temecula which is southern wine country and then we're going to big bear and then we're going to burbank la area so in big bear it's kind of like outdoorsy and stuff <laughs> this is so stupid of me it's outdoorsy and um like woodsy it's a big lake there's hiking there's kayaking, there's all this stuff. So I bought this cute bag from, I'm taking you with me. I bought it from Lululemon. Surprisingly, it's not that expensive from Lulu. My head is cut off. It's 38 bucks. I can link it down below. So here is the bag. It's called the Everywhere Belt Bag. I got it in white and I know that's kind of like a risky color, but I just loved the white over black. I just didn't want, and I didn't want to go out there with color. Anyway, so I got this for the trip to LA, California, whatever. I thought it'd be nice to throw on if I want to, if we're walking around, going anywhere, and I thought it'd be really nice too for um, Big Bear when we go to Big Bear and hike, and I want to bring my camera, my phone, wallet, keys, whatever, or just to throw on in the morning to walk to a coffee shop because we're going to San Diego, Little Italy, and there's coffee shops all around. I'm a big coffee drinker, so I feel like this will just come in handy for the trip. Here, I'll put it on. 
here is what it looks like on. I know it kind of blends in with my shirt or my sweatshirt, but I thought it was so cute. And for something from Lululemon, for it being 38 bucks, I feel like it's really good. And the fabric is really nice. I'll show you the inside as well. But I just thought it would be so cute for the trip to just throw on like this, even for hiking. And the strap is adjustable, so you can adjust it to um, fit your waist or fit right here. So, or you can just throw it over your shoulder. See, you could just like throw it over your shoulder too. I feel like it's just a great bag to have. I'll show you the inside. This is the inside. So it has a pocket right here and then two little pockets right here to keep things separated. So I feel like my phone, my camera, my keys, sunglasses can fit in here and yeah, sunscreen, whatever you need. So I thought this was a good bag, good find. I'll let you know how well the white holds up and if anything like transfers. I think what I'm worried about the most is my self tanner transferring to the white straps. I don't know how well or easily that will be able to be cleaned because it says do not machine wash. So we'll see. So I have these ice cube trays and I like to use them for coffee. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some coffee ice cubes for tomorrow. Let's see. I got these trays off of Amazon, so I can link them. I think they're linked on my Amazon shop, I think with my coffee items. Okay, this is always really hard for me to do. I feel like it always gets everywhere. So we'll just have to make a mess. Oh my God, oh my God. It's making the biggest mess of my life. Are you kidding? Like I almost need one of those things that has like a spout on it. I don't think it's worth it for these. It's like just foam. So this will just not be. I'm not even gluten-free, but when I tell you that gluten-free pretzels are so much better than original pretzels with gluten in them, I am not lying. They are so much better. Definitely try them. Also, I got Crest White Strips to CVS while I was out because I needed like more lotion. I got this kind. I don't know. And then I got more of this stuff. And then I got toothpaste. I haven't tried this toothpaste before. The Crest 3D White Brilliance. I don't think my teeth are bad or not white at all. I think they're actually in pretty good condition. I take really good care of my teeth. But I really want to whiten them. I haven't used Crest White Strips in years. So I'm kind of nervous. But I'm going to put one on tonight. This is just the one hour express. I didn't know that you were supposed to use the whole kit consistently to get the results. I thought you just could use it whenever you wanted, but apparently you're supposed to use the whole entire kit one hour each day, but there's 10 treatments. So do I use it for 10 days, one hour each day? I feel like that's a lot. Maybe I'll do it for like 
one hour each day for like three days or maybe five days, but I'm not gonna do 10 days. I feel like my teeth will fall out. So I'm gonna put one on tonight. I'm nervous because my teeth get really sensitive after using these. I don't know what it was about needing to use Crest toothpaste along with Crest white strips. I don't know. I was like, maybe it will work better. I don't know. <laughs> the logic I have. Literally, I've been holding a pretzel in my hand the whole entire clip. I'm gonna snack on these even though I should be cooking dinner because it's six o'clock, but. I am cooking one of these Azuki bean burgers. I think that's how you say it. They're so, so, so good. I get mine at Whole Foods. I don't know. I don't think Publix has them. I've like looked for them in Publix before. This is the best flavor. I've tried a few of them, but I think that this is the best. And it's so good over a salad, so I'm making it over a salad with Brussels sprouts. Okay, I just put the salad dressing on top of the burger and the salad and stuff, so that's why it looks like that. It looks gross on camera, but I promise it's so good. So it's just lettuce, tomato, Brussels sprouts, cooked in this everything but the elote seasoning from Trader Joe's, and then just the burger on top. So it's really good, I promise. So I'm gonna eat this, drink my raspberry lime spin drift, <laughs> finish doing my laundry, and all that stuff. I'm back on my collagen. I have talked about this a few times in older videos, probably like, months old i stopped taking it probably in february so i was taking it for like seven months maybe eight months but i was taking i saved the bottle but i was taking this one now i'm taking the pure so the this one the difference is the pure doesn't have any calories sugar carbs or sodium and the skin one does i like the taste of the skin one better it tastes kind of like a liquid peach ring that candy you know what i'm talking about and this tastes kind of like pineapple juice in a way collagen has completely changed my hair growth my hair used to not grow past here the hair grows just like a weed now i stopped taking it for a little bit and now i am back on it my hair would not be in the condition that it is in without taking collagen for years i've been taking i used to take powder collagen and then i found that liquid collagen actually is absorbed easier in your body and after the age of 25 your collagen that you're that you have in your body it naturally like starts to decrease so i will leave a coupon code down below it gets you ten dollars off your first order of collagen and it, i always have it linked in every single video because i was taking it for a really long time and i really do stand behind this product but um i have a coupon code linked in the description box down below and it will get you ten dollars off your first order of collagen so I'm gonna take it right now. I just finished filming my q a and really excited to edit it i hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know a little bit more like about me or like my opinions or my advice when it comes to certain things so if you haven't seen that video i will link it down below because it will probably already be up by the time you're seeing this video anyways yeah so i just got all ready film that and i'm probably gonna take all my makeup off because we're gonna be out by the pool today so we're gonna have another pool day shocker we're still working on our tans for the trip so we'll be out in the sun again today and i think taylor maya and a few other people are gonna be 
joining us. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I get a really good chance.